So I absolutely cannot believe this. I've been married to Rachel for over six years right now and not once has she mentioned this to me. It's basically tea time here right now in America and I've been craving for like a Malaysian koi but today's kind of gloomy and I'm just kind of lazy to make my own koi. And so we've been talking about what is a an equivalent of a Mer American food to like a Malaysian koi. Calm down, it's not that big of a deal. However, we were talking about what kind of snack you can find in America that would, you know, kind of match what a koi would be like in Malaysia. And it hit me today that one that's really good is what we call funnel cake, which is basically deep fried dough. And mm -hmm. it's delicious, you can put lots of different Doesn't that sound dough. amazing? It sounds like one of like our koi. <laughs> The only thing with funnel cakes is that they're seasonal and you can usually only find them at fairs or festivals or carnivals. And because of COVID right now, all those things are shut down. So I have no idea where we're actually going to find this. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know. I've lived in America for over nine years and I've never heard of this thing before. So I don't care. We're going to go out there and we're going to find for this. That's the mission. Of <laughs> Same fine. So that's our mission. <laughs> so that's basically our mission for the day. We have to go out and find for this funnel cake. We will look for in some likely places. Um, because of COVID, a lot of things are shut down, but maybe we can try some bakeries, maybe some ice cream shops. I don't know. We'll just look and see if we can find it. Yeah, so we looked up a couple of places. We're just gonna go there and check it out. If they have funnel cake, we really hope they do. Usually it's like in festivals, carnivals, but Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Let's let's try for this. All right. Let's go. Let's go. What place is this? It's one on Yelp that said funnel cakes, but they're not picking up. So. Try them after. Why is no place answering right now? <laughs> I don't know. Hi, thank you for calling Country Waffles of Hayward. We're located at three. Hi, do you guys uh, sell funnel cakes? We do not answer. Oh, uh, it's okay. Thank you so much. Good evening, Hi, do you guys serve funnel cakes? Uh, no, I'm sorry, we don't. All right, thank you. Anyways, man. I don't think we're going to find funnel cakes anytime soon. It's not good. Come on, come on, keep looking. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm looking. All the places that are on here that say funnel cakes they haven't had funnel cakes. Thank you for calling me in that group. I can help you. Hi, I was wondering, do you guys serve funnel cakes? We do not. All right, thanks anyways. We're striking out all over the place. Well, let's go check those other places that you that you saw the sign I for. saw the sign for one. Okay. Um, in the parking lot. So let's go check that out. Okay. Get lucky maybe. Uh, should be somewhere around here. Yes. Oh there, 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 there it is. Yay! Alright. Is it open? Oh no! Oh man, it's closed! It's closed. Alright. Alright, next place. It's gonna be on your left after I turn. Oh, there, there, there. Sweet Adeline Bake Shop. Ooh, that looks really good. Yeah, okay, let me no, go here. No. Oh no! Oh no! It's closed. Dang it! Is it? It's closed, right? Yeah, it looks really closed up. Man, I had a lot of hope on this one. And I didn't say anywhere on the website that it's closed. Whew! On to the next one, come on. Are we there yet? Yeah, it's close by. I think it's on somewhere on the left side here. Okay. Right. That's one of the places. It looks, yeah, somewhere straight. Oh, do you see it? it? Yeah. Alright, great. Yeah, they didn't answer the phone when I called. Uh huh. Um, but, however, it looked like online they had a couple pictures of what could be funnel cake, maybe? So let's try it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, endless summer sweet. This is it. Oh, cool. Look at the sign outside. There! Funnel cakes! <laughs> Whoa! You found oh it! Gosh. Oh, this look, is there's, amazing. there's the menu for it. Where? There. Dude, they have it. I am literally so excited <laughs> right now. I cannot believe we found funnel cake. My first time about to 
try. I really hope they have it though. Let's we'll see. Let's wait and see. I hope it lives up to his expectation too. Um, I mean, funnel cakes are delicious, but I mean, I think we might have built this up too high in his <laughs> mind. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Lines are pretty long too, so. So Zayden had to go and pee pee. So I'm picking up the food. I don't know where they went though. We just parked just around the corner. But oh yep, there they are. Zayden's pee pee in a corner somewhere. Stop, don't film this. <laughs> All right, we got this funnel cake, yo. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how excited are you right now? Oh, I am so excited. Nine years. Nine years I've been in America. Yeah. Not once have I tried yeah, this. Yeah. Zay, we got a spe something special for you too, which is something special for me too. We also got corn dog, and I realized have you ever had I've corn seen dog? it around. I've seen corn dog around. I just never, never tried it. Never cared for it much. No, no. Uh, but now we're gonna have it. You're right, Zay. <gasps> Let's get Zay stuff. First. So here's the corn dog. Yeah, look at that corn dog. What are your thoughts? Good. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is a really good corn dog. Really? Mm-hmm. The big thing about corn dogs is you want the outside part to be like soft on the inside but crispy on the outside. It's good, yeah. I think it, no, it no. has like chili sauce. That would be so much better. No. The sauces that they give us is ketchup, which is tomato sauce and mustard. So we got two kinds of funnel cake. One is Just the traditional. Classic, traditional with powdered sugar on top. So, I think it's that one. That one. Do you see it? Woohoo, baby! <laughs> and this one is with banana and oh my gosh. whipped cream. That looks amazing. Yeah. I think I want to try the traditional one. Yeah, try the traditional one first. I'll try the banana one first. Yeah. All right. First time ever funnel cake. Man. It is first time ever. I don't think I've had this since I was like... 16 or 17 though. So like stretchy. Mmm. Mmm. It's a really good funnel cake. Is it everything you hoped and dreamed for? It's good. It's very crispy outside, chewy inside. Mm -hmm. and doughy, just, right? Yeah, doughy. Very doughy. Mm -hmm. That's a good way. It's like a donut, but it's not consistent. It's all like netting almost like almost like a roti jala. Oh, that's it's a good way to describe like, it. Yeah, it's all like roti jala, so that's the thinner parts are more crispy, and the thicker ones are a bit more chewy. It's good, yo. It's just hard to like break it apart. I feel like I yeah. need to bite it. Is that how how it's eaten? Most of the time, you have like it on a plate and you have a knife and a fork. But I won't judge you if you just use your hands. Totally worth it. This is exactly how I remember it. So this one is uh, because of the whipped cream in and stuff. It's a little bit more soggy. Yeah. Good. I think I like the classic one best. I think I like that one better too. I definitely, I think the powdered sugar, just with most foods, right? Just keep it classic. Keep it classy and simple. I think it's definitely um, heavier than a traditional Malaysian kueh. Uh, and it's definitely more of a dessert yeah. than a snack. It's very but... much a treat. It's mm -hmm. not something you would eat just as a normal everyday food. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe I went through nine years without having this. I blame you, you should have told me. I told you, I don't think I've had this since I was a teenager. Can I finish this? <laughs> yeah, you can finish it. There's still plenty more of this one too, but you need to finish the best one. Thank you. For your very first funnel cake experience, you need to be the best one possible. Killed it. So nine years waiting for this. Worth it? I mean, honestly speaking, the Malaysian Koi is way better. <laughs> like, it's way, way better. And it's like so many options. I mean, I know this, this, there's a lot of options too. You can put a lot of different flavors on the funnel cake, but the Malaysian koi, each koi is unique in itself. And I still think that's better, but it's decent. Like, yeah. I'd have this again. It's, it's heavier though. It's very heavy. It's very heavy. Uh, we'll probably need to wait a bit longer before, before we have dinner. our dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I just can't believe I haven't found out about this. I'm sorry. Like, I'm such a foodie, and I go search for all kinds of like food here in America. I've been like exploring as much as I can. And obviously also sharing Malaysian food, but I cannot believe I've never heard of this. 
I'm sorry, that's a wife fail on my part. I should have I should have mm -hmm. told you about this. I'm saying this as an American. Food in Malaysia is so much better than American food that I never feel like what America has to offer can measure up to what Malaysia has to offer. Malaysia food is the best, guys. I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us in our journey today to go look for a funnel cake and even got a corn dog out of it. <laughs> um, leave us down in the comment below. Let us know if there's a unique Malaysian or even an American food that uh, you feel like we've never tried before. Let us know and we'll go look for it and try it. Yeah. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button and, and the subscribe button as well. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Malaysia Bolay. <laughs> Bye.